Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Sage of the 601, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. And uh, let me just tell you, I went into this game not wanting a thing to do with this game. I didn't want to touch it with a 20-foot stick. I, I didn't want it. I played the alpha, didn't care for it, couldn't see anybody. But all my friends were begging me, please, come on, play the beta, play the beta. Uh, okay, maybe nobody begged me. Maybe I just wanted to try it out. But it, 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 listen, I'm telling the story. Okay, anyway, so... All you need to know is that what really sold the whole game for me, besides the M4 being completely busted, was the um, mode that we are playing here called Realism Mode. Um, realism Mode, to me, was the funnest thing. It's the version of Hardcore Mode for this game. Uh, as you see, I, I still don't know my controls yet. It's sad. But... Hardcore mode for this game was so much fun. It was pretty much one in the head, two in the body in, in a sense, although I feel like uh, I feel like that was questionable at times. Um, as you see, my aim is also pretty questionable as well, too. But I enjoyed every, every single second of this game. Uh, I feed a lot, but in regular multiplayer, but in realism, I don't know. I felt like I could do something. Uh, something like get shot uh, in the back with a Scott's marksman rifle, but it's, it's whatever. Don't worry about it. Anyway, all you need to know is that even the regular multiplayer, I jumped into it, was having a lot of fun. The only thing that kind of threw me off in regular multiplayer was something I was being dumb about, and that was if, if you put down like a munitions box or anything like that, it, it can uh, give you a plus 20, plus 20 whenever teammates use it. So I would be in a gunfight and get that plus 20 notification and... Well, I, I would just stop shooting. I would just begin to reload, thinking, oh, okay, got him, on to the next one. That wasn't what happened. So, what did happen, however, was a lot worse, and uh, it was instant death. So, that was something that was throwing me off on multiplayer a little bit, but in realism, no HUD, no problems. I didn't have that. You just shoot them until they fall down. Uh... I mean, I, I, I don't know what more I can say than that, really, about this. That's pretty much what this mode is. But it would also make uh, be funny. You can get personal radars and UAVs. I didn't know about that until a little bit into the game. You know, my friends can attest to that one in the comment section, I'm pretty sure. But because uh, of how bad I fed early on. But I don't know, man. As a whole, the game really just the gunplay, especially that you can tell they spent a lot of time working on the the just the little things like you can see the smoke right there coming from the top of the AK you can see just this little detail they put into the clip uh, and just all the smooth textures and the crisp edges and everything uh, graphics wise as, as well too really blew me away I was not expecting that because like I said in the alpha I couldn't see anybody on pine pine was horrible hated it but and so I thought I was gonna have the same problem with this kind of map here in the in the caves and stuff but not really, didn't really ever have a problem not seeing anybody except for when I was being stupid, uh, which was a lot. But other than that, you know, had a lot of fun, got a lot of kills, forgot I had kill streaks sometimes because I was just I was just getting in there. I just because I'm a pleb. I am a pleb though to Call of Duty games in general as a whole. But I don't know. I, I was really enjoying it. I I, I know I've said that a lot. The only negatives I really see, say is uh, I was listening to some people the other day say it, and um, I'll kind of just voice their sentiment as well, too, because I fully agree with it, is that they really need to nerf the M4 or they need to buff everything else as well. Because the M4 at almost cross map is just... It's just a laser. Even on mouse and keyboard. I played it on both PC and on... Um, and on PlayStation, I know it's crossplay, but you know I, I played it on both of them, and I used mouse and keyboard, and I also used uh, a controller. But it, it's just a laser; it's just dead on the dome at like from right here where I'm at on the map to across from where that guy shot me in the back. No, nah, I'm just kidding. From pretty much map to map, like coast to coast, you you can almost laser somebody if you've got a clear, if you've got a line of sight on them. You, yeah, you're gonna win that engagement from from long distance and i was doing it earlier today too before the beta uh went out and it's just 
they got to do something about that. Like, the AK is nice, but it's just not at distance. It's not going to outgun the M4. I bet that was an M4 right there. No? no okay. Well, can't always get those calls. But, yeah, see, I even swap. Yeah, see? I swapped back over to an M4 here about halfway through. Saw that guy sleeping down there. <sighs> Poor kid. I don't, I don't know why he didn't shoot back. But... Yeah, that's, that was really my main complaint with the game was I, I didn't see a way to turn off the hood either in the regular multiplayer, which I guess is fine if they give me realism mode. Um, night vision mode. Night vision mode was so much fun. I really can't say that enough. It was, it was like realism mixed in with the multiplayer a little bit more to the point where stealth and everything was like I, you could give yourself away just from the lasers pointing on the uh pointing on the, you see what i'm saying right now about the the m4 i'm just i'm not really getting any of these kills but i'm dead on from i don't know what is that i don't know, like 50 60 yards away my death perception is horrible so as you can see from all those missed shots but yeah just the laser but I don't know. What was I saying? I, I get I get lost. I get lost in thinking sometimes. Yeah, I think I doomed that guy with the headshot. I hope question mark ninety. Uh, I really did enjoy the game as a whole though. The kill streaks. Uh, I like how they've done that now to where they're kill streaks instead of score streaks. That way you can't just roll on somebody, and you can actually enjoy the game for a second. You know, but uh. Oh, night vision mode. That's what we were talking about a second ago. Sorry. Psh. Night vision mode. That mode was so much fun with the stealth because the lasers, the lasers would literally give you away. Uh, if, you know, if you came around the corner aiming too hard or anything like that or just sprinting with, without thinking of how you were coming around the corner with your, uh, with giving away that laser or anything like that. It was, and, and the sounds, superhuman hearing's a must. And that was the other thing, too, is that they really did bring in, uh, I wouldn't even say really a slowed down element to Call of Duty because it it's still Call of Duty. It's still very fast. It paced FPS, but it's, I don't know. It's, it's better than it's been in the past where it's felt more like a Destiny, more like a Halo, like just, well, not even really Halo. I would say more like a Destiny Overwatch type of uh, character-based shooter with just wacky abilities and stuff like that going on. Uh, and this rolling on kill streaks and stuff. Like, that's kind of why I... Because Call of Duty as itself, like, as it is with this, I can easily see myself putting in hours with my friends playing this because I never really got the original Call of Duty experience. I know. Sad story, sad story. The original Call of Duty experience... Uh, with Modern Warfare 2, so I could easily see myself putting in hours playing this, getting content, grinding up, getting prestige, and just having this be like my FPS for right now, because, you know, coming up, you've got uh, Pokemon coming out in November, first and foremost, shout out to the GOAT, hopefully, future GOAT, I, I'm a little hesitant with how they're going to do that, but hopefully I'll have a lot more of that on my channel as well coming up. Uh, we got Death Stranding coming up. That's going to be a story-based game that I'm going to be getting into uh, along with Pokemon. And then you got Doom at the later part of November, which I hope to bring a, a little bit to, to this channel as well. But, I mean, this is going to really be the FPS for right now. Uh, Outer Worlds, maybe. Maybe. I, I was kind of heavy Outer Worlds until I played this beta, and now I'm just like, ah... You see, right there, the M4 just outgunned a sniper from that range. Like, I, you got to do something about that, man. Like, I, I, I know I'm on mouse and keyboard, but that's that's a little ridiculous. Ugly, ugly, that's ugly, ugly. But yeah, like I said, had a, man, I just really had a good time this weekend. Got you know, hung out with some friends. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done for the 601. Played a little bit of his beta. Got some fighters done as well, too. Yeah, your boy went 17 kills, 4 assists right there. Finished second, winning team. I liked it. I liked it. Uh, almost had more kills than the top guy on their team. But I think, I'm pretty sure we go like 1.7 here, 1. Point something. Like we go positive in this first game and uh, go even better in the second one. Uh, the guy we got, that we got coming up as well, too. But, 
yeah, more more 601 content coming out soon. Uh, Sage Productions is currently in pre-production for uh, the EP Sage. We've got that coming out to the channel. Uh, some musical content, some stuff dropping on SoundCloud hopefully soon that I want y'all to check out. The website should be up. I am recording this as of like 12 o'clock on a Monday. And uh, Monday the... Oh, oh, sorry. I had to cry right there. But I think I get a double kill off of this, um, off of that nade somehow. Gotta love it. Uh, but yeah, I'm recording this at like a 12, 12 o'clock on Monday. So hopefully by... By six at the latest. By by the end of tonight, by the end of Monday tonight, the website should be up. Uh, you should have a link to the YouTube channel on there as well. Uh, you should, well, if you're coming from YouTube already, look at that. You should have a link to the Twitter, to the Facebook, to SoundCloud, to anything uh, like that uh, as well. We're gonna have uh, some blogs on there. I want to try and get the people involved. Get like a uh, maybe a vlog going uh, of music and videos video games, something like that, maybe a community vlog, see what everybody's playing, see what everybody's listening to. I want to try and just get the community for the 601 and Sage involved and have everybody love everybody here. Um, nothing else really new to report on uh, on that on that front other than just new stuff is, is hopefully coming and is, well, not hopefully coming, new stuff is coming. I say hopefully as I'm trying to just get through this editing process. I'm trying to... Uh, I'm down on myself. I need to hype myself up. New stuff is coming. Got this dropping today. Got another stuff hopping. All right, let me stop giving myself a pep talk. Let me just watch this here. Woo, watch these corners. Watch these corners. Don't don't crouch shot. It's 2019. Stop crouch shot. Let me not say that because I crouch shot a lot. In this video. It still works. Okay. It still works very well. All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave y'all today with a little bit of sample actually from Sage. Uh, I don't know if this beat will make it onto the final uh, project yet or not. This is something that I'm just kind of working with, but uh, it's kind of a bare bones of something and uh, hope y'all enjoy. And uh, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Anything you'd like to see to improve the video other than me rambling right there in the middle. I know. I got a script writer coming in uh, next Tuesday, hopefully. So he'll help me out with that. And then... We also uh, go check out our other stuff, uh, the 601 related. You know, you got Lord Valentine. Uh, you got at Cannibal Sandwich on Twitter. Go check him out. Uh, Sully Wrights on Twitter as well. Small Scale Studios. All those guys down there are great. And uh, yeah, make sure you uh, just like, comment, subscribe, support 601. We'd appreciate it. But I'm going to leave y'all with a little bit of a musical sample here today. Until next time, take it easy. Peace.
Thank you again for watching from everybody here at the 601. We really appreciate it and Sage Productions as well. We hope that you like to come back, maybe view some more. We also have a lot of things going in terms of uh, we're developing a manga, we're getting our videos set up, we're starting a hub site, like I mentioned, a web website. I uh, don't have a domain yet name yet, but going to be working on that soon. So make sure you stay tuned and uh, hope to have you come back and enjoy some more content. Until next time, peace.